All right, main event time here at the Civic Center in Chattooga County. We've got the tournament final for the new NGWA Tag Team Championship. As the Defiant will take on the Andrews Brothers. And right now, you just shut up and listen now, Pierce, because I'm going to drop some knowledge on this whole place. This match right now, I don't, I don't know what you're thinking, but this is not the correct match. This match should be the Defiant versus the Sunset Strip. That's what this match should be. You guys came up. I, I'm sorry. I'm. You guys were not successful in your bid at the Tag Team Championship. And and the only reason we weren't successful is because, like I said, Papa Smurf out there cheated. Pops Andrews. Papa Smurf. They're all in blue. He gets to be Papa Smurf. My goodness. And, well, what was this we saw earlier with you and Cameron Cox? Leaving Freddie Reckless behind. Uh, what is up with that, Mr. Walters? What's up with that? Is that what you want to know? I want to know. That I would like to know. Everybody wants to know. Well, you know what? It's okay. Because I'm going to tell you exactly what happened. What happened is every single time that the Sunset Strip lost a tag team match, it was because of Freddie Reckless. His shoulders were pinned to the mat every single time we lost. And every single time that the Sunset Strip was victorious, it was because of Cameron Cox and myself. Freddie Reckless was nothing but dead weight. Wow. Well, all right. Uh... We have revoked his Sunset Strip card and officially kicked him out of the Love Shack. But don't worry, don't worry, because on December 29th, Gabe Walters, I am very, very resourceful, and I want you and everybody in the North Georgia Wrestling Alliance to know and rest assured, the Sunset Strip will be made whole again. Well, all right. Uh... And once you see our newest member, the newest member of the Sunset Strip, it's only going to be a matter of time before the NGWA Tag Team Championships are right where they belong. And that's hanging over the fireplace on the mantle inside the Love Shack, Pierce. Well, I mean, I certainly look forward to, to, to the new, new member as a uh, Ryan Andrews tags Brother Lee here. And uh, Joey Idol is in a predicament. He's in trouble. Joey Idol needs to make a tag. That's what he needs to do. Charles Allen is fresh outside the ring. He's ready to go. Well, that's, that's I would agree with that. I'm glad. It'd be the first smart thing you did today. Oh. Oh, Joey Idol uh, going to the eyes. Hey, you got to do what you got to do when the gold is involved, Pierce. Well, the tag team championship is at stake. The, the winning team will be your NGWA tag team champions here. And we've had the tournament, I guess uh, August was the... Uh, August the 11th, uh, 2018, we began both the uh, tag team and heavyweight tournaments. tournaments. Yes. We did, absolutely. That's been a little while. Like I said, if it wasn't for that lousy, no good bum, Freddie Reckless, we'd be in the finals right now. I, I, I you know, I'm still in a little bit of shock. 
you guys have split up. It wasn't a split up. A split up is cordial, where you both go your separate ways and everybody's okay with it. Freddie Reckless, he's not okay with it because he knows that his meal ticket is gone. I, I, and honestly, I don't even know if he's going to show up on the 29th because you know what? Cameron Cox, he demanded, demanded that the NGWA Board of Directors give him Freddie Reckless in a singles match so that Cameron Cox could destroy him once and for all and be rid of that no-talent hack, Freddie Reckless. Wow. But what happened? What happened? You've seen the poster on December 29th. Cameron Cox versus Christian Garrett. I have seen, yes. Because Freddie Reckless is scared. Oh, well, folks, uh, NGWA action returns to the Chattooga County Civic Center in Somerville, Georgia on Saturday, December the 29th. Why doesn't the referee get him out of there? What, uh, Ron Andrews? He was in there for at least a nine count. Completely out of position on the pinfall. Joey Idol had him beat dead to rights. And that stupid referee was out of oh, position. Oh, Marty, my very favorite official in all of Chattooga County, Marty McFarland. Marty McFarland. All right, Lee Andrews, uh, reversal from Lee Andrews, big clothesline. He needs to make a tag, though. And he didn't do it. No, oh, boot right to the face. Was that a boot or a knee? I couldn't tell. If that was a boot, it knocked Joey Idol loopy. Oh, he got him in a front face lock. Looks like he was trying to get back to his corner there to Ryan Andrews. Oh. Joey Idol cut him off with some stiff shots to the bread basket. We got Charles Allen in here. Big back elbow. Look at Charles Allen trying to help him up and he won't even get up. He's trying to help. No, no. Uh, Joey Idle trying to help him up as well. He's stuck in the corner. Look at Ryan Andrews coming in to cheat again. Oh. And there's Papa Smurf out there well, approving of all of this. You mentioned Pop Sanders. What about what about Miss, A Miss Ashley <laughs> being in the corner? Isn't she gorgeous? I just can't believe it. The homewreckers, every time I see Miss Ashley, I, I just can't help but think of that, that and the way she treated Frenchie Riviera and turned her back on him. Frenchie's a loser. She had to cut her bait and move on to bigger and better things. Oh, all right, we got Ryan Andrews back for his team. Nice European uppercut there. And then right back to the illegal closed fist. Oh, wow. Charles Allen might be out. It was only a two count, but it looked very close. No, it was only two, I, I agree. Not even close to three. Oh, well, Charles Allen fighting his way back. Uh, and this championship means everything to these two teams, as it did every team that was in the tournament. <laughs> Look at Joey Idol using oh. his head. He had to create some space. Oh. What? What the That's it, Joey Idol. Break it. Break it off. Joey Idol, is, he, he's got tape, and he's, he's securing Ryan Andrews to the top rope. Don't do it, Papa Smurf. You'll pull a hamstring. Oh, Stay down from there. He's not a wrestler. 
Look, did you see that? He just gave him something. That's blatant. Oh, that was just was just horrible. I know it was terrible. He tried to slip a foreign object oh, into the ring. No. Oh, big shoulder from Ron Andrews. See, look, he's doing it again. He gave him something else. They should ban him from ringside. What in the world would, would Pops Andrews need to do in order to become banned from ringside? Exactly what he's been doing. He's trying to slide illegal foreign objects into Ryan Andrews. He did it three times. Uh, well, I mean, I guess maybe if you'd tell him, if you would give him some advice, maybe he'd get banned from ringside as you were. LOL. Listen to me. If he was on life support, I'd unplug it to charge my cell phone. Oh, that's horrible. Back to action. Uh, Lee Andrews putting a hurting on Charles Allen. With more illegal closed fists. Oh, my goodness. Did the referee check those gloves at the beginning of the match, Pierce? I do not know. I would assume, I would assume so as... Oh, you know what happens when you assume. We've got action outside of the ring onto the floor with uh, Ryan Andrews and Joey Idol. Uh, you know, I don't know if, if... Lee Andrews with a fisherman suplex. Oh. Only a two count, though. That was a fast two count at that. I'm, I'm wondering if uh, if um, if Marty will be able to regain control of this match. Uh, I don't. It certainly doesn't look like it. Well, Joey Otto was not the legal man for for the Defiant. Close enough. Oh, I, I now believe, look, I look believe at the referee. referee. Look he, at him. He's he sleeping on the down. job now. I believe he got hit somehow. He, now look, Papa look, pop, Smurf is abusing the referee. Pop, pop. He's assaulting him. That's it. Ring the bell. Disqualify him. Uh, I agree with that 100%. This is the finals of the tournament. Oh! Big senton from Charles Allen. What's I wish Ashley here? would kick him right in the teeth. Knock out the two that he has oh, left. Ashley, what is she doing in the ring? Well, if you'll shut up and watch, you'll see. Oh. Well, we've yet to hear the... the the verdict here but the match is over that's right and the home records are going to be your new tag team champions oh we got some more referees and uh, the security oh choke him out choke him out that's, he's useless no, anyway I can't believe it Joey Idol has a cobra hold. And a, it's the cobra clutch. The cobra clutch. On one of the security guards. And all the referees. I'm pretty sure lightning is going to have to strike to get him to let go. What in the world? We still don't have the finish uh, from the referee's decision. They just suspended Joey Idol. Commissioner John Arden. Good 
They still haven't gotten the Defiant out here. What's the decision? Well, no contest. What? No tag team champions. That's ridiculous. The Defiant clearly were ahead on points. Well, they can't restart the match. We can't, we won't get an answer. I, mean, I don't know what's going to happen. They can't restart the match. Joey Idol's suspended. Yeah, Joey Idol's done. I, I, I mean, is, is, are they, just, uh, or does that mean that the Defiant is out of the title picture altogether? They should be the tag team champions right now. Well, if Joey Idol's suspended, then. That's a complete they only, abuse of power. They give the belts to the Andrews brothers. No way. Well, they've made it all the way to the finals. So did the home wreckers. Yeah. Next to the fans, be sure to follow the North Georgia Wrestling on Facebook, and I'll keep you updated on what we're going to do about this situation. Like I said, you, Tony Otto, see you bye, boy, you're done. Well, all right, I guess we'll find out. When is the next show? December the 29th. And it's in, back here at the Chattooga County Civic Center. At the Center. Civic Center in Somerville, Georgia. They better get a spatula to get that security guard up off the mat. Oh, he is out.